Saint Rose Philippine de Chesney, Society of the Sacred Heart, was a French religious sister and educator who immigrated as a missionary to America. The Catholic Church commemorates her feast day every November 18. Rose Philippine de Chesney was born in Grenoble in the Kingdom of France. Her father, Pierre-Francois de Chesney was a prominent lawyer during the Day of the Tiles while her mother, Rose Euphrasine Perrier was the sister of Claude Perrier, an industrialist who later helped finance the rise to power of Napoleon. Rose was sent to be educated in the monastery of Saint Marie Don Hot by the community of Visitandine nuns. In 1788, she decided to enter the visitation of Holy Mary religious order, despite her family's opposition. Unfortunately, in 1792, the monastery was closed during the French Revolution's reign of terror and dispersed the nuns. Rose returned to her family and continued to live the rule of life of her order while serving her family and those suffering from the reign of terror, including those imprisoned at the former monastery. With the Catholic Church again able to operate openly in France under Napoleon, in 1801, Rose attempted to re-establish the Visitation Monastery, acquiring the buildings from its new owner. She assumed the role of Mother Superior, with only three companions left. Madeleine Sophie Barat, the founder of the New Society of the Sacred Heart, met with Mother de Chesney in 1804. She offered to merge the Visitation community into the Society of the Sacred Heart, which Mother de Chesney accepted. The two women have since become lifelong friends. After the end of the Napoleonic Wars, Mother de Chesney followed Barat's instructions and established a convent of the Sacred Heart in Paris in 1815, where she both opened a school and became the mistress of novices. In 1817, William Duberg, Bishop of the Diocese of Louisiana and the two Floridas, visited the convent in Paris. Bishop Duberg was looking for a congregation of educators to help him evangelize the Indian and French children of his diocese. The following year, Mother de Chesney headed out to the United States along with four other sisters of the society where they arrived in New Orleans before they finally settled in St. Charles. The community established a new Sacred Heart convent in a log cabin there, known as the Duquette Mansion, the first house of the society ever built outside France. They then established the first free school west of the Mississippi. The following year, they moved the community across the river to the town of Florissant, Missouri, where they opened a school and a novitiate. By 1828, they had grown to six communities, operating several schools. In 1826, Pope Leo XII formally approved the Society of the Sacred Heart, recognizing their work. In 1841, the Jesuits asked the sisters to join them in a mission with the Potawatomi tribe in eastern Kansas. At age 71, Mother de Chesney was not considered for the trip. However, Father Peter Verhagen insisted on bringing her, she may not be able to do much work, but she will assure success to the mission by praying for us. Mother de Chesney was unable to master their language, thus, the tribe children called her Kwakakanumad, which translates as woman who prays always. At the request of the Jesuit priest Pierre-Jean de Smet, she continued her work and helped Native Americans as far as the Rocky Mountains. It was clear that Mother de Chesney's health could not sustain the regime of village life so she returned to St. Charles the following year. She spent the last decade of her life in solitude and prayer. Toward the end of her life, she wrote, I live now in solitude and am able to use my time reflecting on the past and preparing for death. I cannot put away the thought of the Indians and in my ambition, I fly to the Rockies. Mother de Chesney died on November 18, 1852, aged 83. Initially buried in the convent cemetery, her remains were exhumed three years later and intact. She was then reburied in a crypt within a small shrine on the convent grounds. Mother de Chesney was declared venerable in 1909 by Pope Pius X and was beatified by Pope Pius XII on 12 May 1940. Pope John Paul II canonized her on July 3, 1988. For more information about every saints and their feast day, Please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.